Hey guys, so I know I've been kind of absent from YouTube lately. Haven't really meant to do that, just time kind of flew and then I realized that I hadn't made a video in a really long time. So, I am going to do a little treat for you guys today. And so I recently redid all of my makeup storage and I'm going to do a makeup collection today because I have not done one in over a year and I just thought it was time to show you guys how I'm setting everything up now and yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Warning, this video is going to be shaky and the lighting is not going to be very good because I'm going to have to get into drawers and it's going to be dark. So I'm going to try my best with lighting but just bear with me. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is my vanity setup and then I'm going to go ahead into my new uh, makeup collection setup. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have the same exact mirror that I had in my last video. It's the same one. It's kind of dirty right now, but uh, hi there. And I'm just going to go through everything. And I'm still using the same desk that I used in my last video as well. It's just this really big desk that is like half vanity. And then you come over here and it's computer. So it's just huge and it wouldn't make any sense to have two desks. So I use it for both. So I'm going to start in this corner. Okay, so this is kind of my little electronic corner. So I have my iHome and then behind that I have some cords I think those are all headphones and then I have like a USB stick a Kleenex box um, sticky notes I have some beads from Mardi Gras I have my lamp and then I have my two iPhone cases and that is my OtterBox case which is amazing and then I have two sticks of deodorant because I got one of those like two pack sticks and then I, behind my brushes, I just have two books because they look pretty. And um, I have my Teen Vogue handbook and then my style book by Lauren Conrad. And there's a bunch of really good stuff in my style books. So I would definitely recommend that if you are into that kind of stuff. And then I have my little brush holder contraption. And this glass that I have, I got from Ikea for $2. So I was super happy with that find and then I just have little glass beads in there and then I have all of my brushes that I use on a daily basis I do have brush rolls and brushes in like storage but these are the ones that I like to use the most so I have all of my like eye brushes around the edges and then in the center I have face brushes and then over here I have like eyebrow stuff so I have tweezers and then some scissors so that's my little brush setup, and I have this little drawer. If you remember my last video, I think I had three of these stacked up with all of my makeup, and it just got way, it was, my makeup collection was just expanding so fast, and it was exploding out of those drawers. So now I have one, and this is my more daily makeup, and then my other drawer box thing that you'll see in a second has everything else. So, I'll go through these drawers real quick. Um, so, I have my concealer, my foundation, my bronzer, my BB cream, which I use as primer. And if you want to see a review on this, it's the Garnier one. Just let me know. It's kind of new, and I really like it. So, if you want to see a review, let me know. Then I have my powder, my favorite uh, Amazonian clay blush, and an e.l.f. highlighter. And then in the second drawer, I have my Naked 2 palette, my Urban Decay, um, it's like a tiny primer, uh, my Benefit They're Real Mascara, my Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Eyeliner, my MAC Pro Longwear mm, Lip Glass Thingy, um, my Maybelline 14-Hour Lipstick, which is what I was wearing in the beginning of the video. Um, my Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Black Eyeliner Pencil, and my Revlon Lip Butter in Raspberry Pi. And then this last drawer is kind of miscellaneous. I have these hair clips for when I do my hair, and then I have 
I have like this thing that came with my Camelback. It's like a free extra bite valve. And then I have a Kabuki brush, my mini Urban Decay setting spray, and then I have like this peacock pin and a headband, and yeah, it's just really miscellaneous. And then on top, I have a big mirror, and I have the nail polish that I'm currently wearing from Essie. This is Essie's Borrowed in Blue, which is my favorite nail polish ever. And, whoops. And I have this Sally Hansen Insta Dry, which is absolutely amazing if you want fast drying nails. And then I have my Bath and Body Works uh, Vanilla Bean Noel candle, and I have two containers of icebreakers. And then I have this matte container. This is from the holiday, the holiday collection, not this past Christmas, but the one before. And it's supposed to be like a pencil container, but I'm using it for hair stuff. So, so I have all of my ponytail holders. I have all of my bobby pins in here. And then I have, then I have this brown braided headband and this pink and gold headband. So that's just some of my hair stuff that I use on a regular basis that I keep in there. And then I have my printer, which is up here. And then in that back corner, I have all of my makeup bags. So for traveling and stuff. And it has my brush rolls back there as well. And then computer. And then over here is like a little corner I have my happy birthday philosophy body wash that I haven't used yet from when I got this free from Sephora for my birthday and then I have my Aussie Sun Touch Shine leave-in conditioner my Aveeno daily moisturizing lotion my Aussie split end protector thing um, my Ahava hand cream and what else do I have back here? My Bath and Body Works Coconut Pineapple Body Lotion. And then I have this uh, face cream that I got from the dermatologist that I just keep up here. And then I have, and then I have all of my hand sanitizers in that same glass that I keep my brushes in. And they go all the way to the bottom. I have like this ridiculous amount and I kind of, I'm obsessed because they're so cheap. Um, so yeah, that's just my little collection that I got going on. And now we're going to move on to my actual drawer, dresser, thingy, mabobber, whatever you want to call it. This is the Ikea Alex 9 drawer set, I think. I'm going to leave a link in the bottom bar just so if you guys want to buy this, you can. It was $119, which is a little pricey. But it's going to last me forever because this is like a real uh, sturdy piece of furniture. So I'm so happy that I bought this. And I completely recommend it. I think it's much better than those flimsy pull-out things. That, they're about this size, but they're just much flimsier. Definitely recommend this over that. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I know this is already getting long. Okay, so on the top I have all of my... Uh, smell good stuff I call it it so I have perfumes and bodily splashes and all kinds of sprays and stuff well, I'm not gonna go through this because if you guys want an actual uh, perfume slash body spraying collection then I'll go through that because it's gonna take way too long but yeah that's how I, I have it up in like this little arc and then in the front I have my more used ones and then yeah so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the first drawer. So the first drawer is all of my face stuff. Obviously the stuff that I use more often is in the front and then I have some like random stuff in the back. These are three Maybelline concealers that sadly they don't make anymore but I love them. And then I have a uh, Garnier Eye Roller Under Eye Concealer from Neutrogena, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Uh, CoverGirl in LA under eye concealer, Laura Mercier foundation, Boots tinted moisturizer, Smashbox primer, Urban K de slick in a tube, Fix and Perfect um, primer. And then I have some like samples or like half used primers in this area. This is a super super old Sephora foundation that I almost never use. And then I have powders here: my Benefit Powder Flage, my Elf translucent powder. And then you guys can look in the back, but I'm not even going to go through that because I honestly 
almost never use that stuff. And then I also threw some sunscreen back there for when I want to use it. So that's the first drawer. And then my second drawer is blushes and bronzers. So over here, I just put um, some MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes and some beauty powders, some cream bronzers. This is an NYC, Milani, e.l.f. Too Faced highlighter slash bronzer and the e.l.f. blush and bronzer and then I have my NARS Laguna bronzer and then I have my uh, blush palette from Coastal Scents and my huge XL Milani bronzer. And those are my bronzers and then blushes I have my Tarte uh, cream stick thing and then I have four of the Maybelline Dream Bounce blushes. I have a mini Tarte blush cream stick. I have a sample of an Urban Decay um, cream blush, my Maybelline Dream Mousse blush, and then in order I have my NARS Orgasm blush, I have my four other Amazonian Tarte Clay, this just fell, okay whatever, everything's falling, and then I have my MAC blushes, I have a Natural Collection blush, and then I have all of my e.l.f. blushes, if you can see how far back that goes. I basically have all of them if you guys saw my Christmas haul and then I have like some random blushes that don't have tops or a covergirl trio so that's my blush drawer I kind of messed it up I'll fix it later though and then this has to be my favorite drawer ever this is my eye base and single or like little eyeshadow palettes so I have so I have the five MAC Paint Pots, I have two of my Makeup Forever Aqua Cream, a NYX base, an e.l.f. base, and then I have all of the color tattoos from Maybelline. I have my Urban Decay Primers, Too Faced, a MAC um, Shade Stick, I have like five of these um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencils, two Natural Collection eye eyeshadows, uh, Too Faced eye Shadow Duo, Victoria's Secret, these are all MAC um, singles, and then I have a duo up here, and then I have just a bigger sized one. I have another duo, L'Oreal, single, some more Victoria's Secret, um, L'Oreal Hip, Random Eye Dust, two of the MAC pigment, the, the crushed metal pigments. I have a Tiny Stila Prime Pot, and then way back here, I have five of the mini pigments that came from MAC. I have all of my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I have a Victoria's Secret pigment and an Urban K pigment, and then I have some Wet n Wild colored pencils back there, and then I have my Maybelline Cream palettes and all of my Maybelline Duo in Quads. And I think that's it. And then the next drawer is all of my eyeliners and mascaras. And you're going to realize that I have a lot of, of like quads and stuff or just mini palettes that are kind of dispersed throughout the drawers because I didn't want to give them their like own drawer. So I have all of my mascaras up here. So Mary Kay. Makeup Forever, Falsies, Buxom, Laura Mercier, CoverGirl, Maybelline One by One, Victoria's Secret Blue Mascara, Clear Great Lash, and Urban Decay Super Curl. And then I have all of my gel eyeliners. Like I mentioned, the Too Faced Palette um, Eyelash Curler. All of my liquid and glitter eyeliners. And then I have the case that the Urban Decay 15 your anniversary palette came in. I took the purple velvet thing and put it in here and then I have all of my eyeliners in there. And then like I said, I have some like smaller eyeshadow palettes and then I also have all of my Wet n Wild $1 eyeliners back there just in case I want like a funky color. And then I also have a, physici a Physician's Formula nude palette that I just got. I like that. And then I have NYX elf nyc stuff like that and then this drawer is all of my lipsticks or like solid lip 
products. Um, so up in the front, I have all of my MAC um, lipsticks. And then I have my Revlon Color... What are these called? Uh, Color Burst Lip Butters. And then I have two of my Lime Crime lipsticks. And then I have my OCC Lip Tars, uh, Stila... What's this called? I'm totally blanking. And then I have CoverGirl Flip Stick, which is like a two-sided um, lipstick and is really cool. And then I have my Benefit Benetint. And then I have five of the Tarte uh, lip sticky things. And then I have some NYC lipsticks. And then I have all of my Wet n Wild lipsticks. And then I have some Berry M lipsticks that I got from overseas in England. And my hip jelly balms. Some like pans of um, chapstick. And then I have a tender tone. Some NYX Maybelline L'Oreal. Basically just a bunch of lip products. And then this next drawer is all of my lip glosses. So, I'm just going to let you guys kind of overview. Um, okay, so I have lip stains on the side. And then I have all of my MAC lip glosses up in the front. And then I have all of my Wet n Wild, my NARS, more lip stains. I have my Violet Lips uh, Zebra, Red Zebra, like, tattoo things, which are so cool if you just want to, like, spice up your nights. They're fun to wear. And then I have my Stila lip glazes, and then I have all of my squeeze tubes, which are mostly from Bath and Body Works, but there's a couple, like, Victoria's Secrets and Philosophy. And then I have an EOS lip balm, and I have no idea where all my others went, but I used to have all the colors. And then I have some, like, random lip glosses that I don't use as much, and all my Soft Lips chapstick, and my Tarte chapstick, and my Nivea chapstick, and... Yeah, and then I have like a couple random Maybelline and CoverGirl lipsticks just kind of like dispersed in here, but that is mainly what this looks like. Okay, so this drawer is all of my palettes that really had nowhere else to go, so they got their own drawer. And so I have Naked palette, MAC palettes, a Sleek palette, two Urban Decay palettes, two Coastal Scents palettes, a Stila palette, another Stila palette, and I think there's some under there, but you guys get the idea. And then this is, like, one of my most miscellaneous drawers. This is just a bunch of stuff that had nowhere else to go. So I have, like, three of my Sigma brushes that I just never use anymore, but I don't really want to, like, throw out because they were kind of expensive. And then I have some makeup remover, and I have... Halloween stuff like under all this and tea tree oil and I have those like tiny hotel uh, Shampoos and conditioners in here for like when I travel and then I have like a tiny body uh, Face scrub. I mean, but I also have any false lashes that I own So like these that I almost never wear false lashes I think I only have like three pairs and then I have some like Halloween eyelash glue some nail polish remover. It's one of the ones where you just like stick your finger in and all your nail polish is gone, which is amazing. And then I have my mascara like mini set that I got a long time ago that I still have not used up. And then I have Neutrogena makeup wipes. Um, some, these are Lush Charity Pot Lotion uh, um, samples that I got from Georgia. And then I have sponges, Q-tips, an extra MAC palette. Uh, brush cleaner. I think that's all that's in here. So yeah, this is just my most miscellaneous drawer. Just anything that doesn't have a home kind of goes in there. And then my final drawer is mostly hair products. So I have like dry shampoo, curl shaping gel, uh, leave-in conditioner, hairspray, more hairspray, more leave-in conditioner. And then I have all of my curling tools. So I have my clipless one from Jose Herber, which if you have don't know about this, this is like the most amazing, um, what's it called? Uh, clipless hair iron thing ever. Like, 
yeah, it's just amazing, and I think I'll do a tutorial with it. And then I have a three barrel roller, a three bar. I also have a three barrel curling iron that's kind of like stuck down there. And then I have my Remington like tapered clipless curling iron. It's that pink one, but all the cords are like up in there. So yeah, right there. And then this is also my sample drawer. So any sample that I have, I just throw in the back. So I have like a sample for high beam and like Sephora and like perfumes and hair stuff and just like the most random stuff that I get from like Sephora and going to Ulta and stuff. So I just throw that in the back and then when I want to use them, they're there. So that was the final drawer. So I hope the lighting wasn't too bad in this video for you, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an overview of how my new setup is going and how much I love it and completely suggest it to everyone who has kind of the same size makeup collection as me because I didn't even think I was going to be able to fill all those drawers and then I got it and it fits so I'm just so happy with it. So I completely suggest that and like I said it's going to be in the bottom bar, a link to it for Ikea. And if you saw anything that you wanted to see a review on or if there was an area of my collection that you want me to go into more depth of, I can do like a lipstick collection video or an eyeshadow collection video, whatever you guys want. And if there were any thing that you wanted me to do a video on at all, just let me know. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm so happy with my new setup and I've been waiting so long to do this but I just haven't had the money and then... I got the money, so then I bought it. So if you have any suggestions or requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And I hope you guys are all having an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.